as we wrap up this short series on Metasploit framework, and we've gone in and we've looked at Meterpreter, and we've looked at all the functions and features as an overview session across uh, our Metasploit framework, I want to create this last video, which goes into how we handle different types of sessions. Now, anytime we get a reverse shell, we're using Meterpreter specifically to get a session back into our hosts from our targets, well then chances are sometimes you're going to be working with a boatload of different hosts that you're going to potentially compromise, right? So, so should that be a successful outcome for you? Uh, the, the main outcome there is you're going to have multiple sessions of shells and how we're going to go away and manage them. So in this video, I want to create a quick video into the different ways of us working with either a single target or multiple targets and how we're going to interact with those targets and how they're going to interact with us and how we're going to go away, save our work if we need to quit targets or kill sessions, or how do we go away and do that? So let's go look at how we're going to do that. So I'm over here and I've got a bunch of shells. As you can see, there's four different types of shells on this Linux system. And I've named them in sort of a sequential numbering. So I've, I've created a local port with 441, 442, 443. And this last host here, which is uh, an SSH compromise. So we've compromised the SSH component and uh, we're using a different local port for that one. So there's overall four different types of shells that we have on a single host here. So let's walk through and sort of define how we're going to go away and obviously work with it. Now, in previous videos, you kind of saw me go into the different types of sessions. And it's typically that it's going back to the session, interacting with the session, listing the session out. And we just want to do that in this video. So if I want to interact with session four here with this Linux root shell, uh, then I can do that. So I can do a quick sessions, tack I to interact with session four. And then we're going to go away and it's going to say, hey, you are now interacting with session four. And I can go away with session four and type in certain types of details, right? I can type a who am I? I can type a U name tack A and it will give me uh, information based on uh, on this system, right? So depending on what we want to do now, we can go away and perform further post-exploitation activities. Now, the post-exploitation activities is a little bit out of scope for this video. This video specifically is just working with our different types of shells and the sessions themselves. So I do want to keep this quite short and that's how we would go away and interact with this host. And should we be finished with this host, I'm just going to hit background. We want to send that session to the background. Yes, we do. We want to keep that one alive. And then if I just do attack L, we can list out the new sessions and our session is still there. So if we go away, we can go into that session, define what we need to define, keep that persistence if we need to, go away. And then now if we want to go into session one here, well, it's the same sort of process. We're just going to se sessions, tag I for one, and then we want to interact with session one. We can go into that session now and we can just do a quick, who am I? Okay, I'm in Bob R. Fett. That's the user account that we've logged in with. And then if I just do a quick you name tag A, and then it'll tell us, hey, it's the same Ubuntu system that you've we've been using before as well. So again, kind of just managing the session. Now, if we want to kill sessions off or remove sessions, we can do that as well. And that's just all about managing, you know, our interact interaction with these types of hosts, because chances are again you are going to have more than one interpreter shells, you know, hopefully you will have more than one shell. Uh, and it's just about managing that within Metoperator and Metasploit itself. So nothing's coming back there. That's okay. Let's go back to background. Let's leave that session. Yes, we do. Now, if we want to kill sessions off, so let's have a look at our sessions, tack L to list them out. And then if we're unsure, we can also do tack H for help. So let's go look into sessions dash H. And there's more parameters in here. Do we need to run commands? So we can do a command execution if we need to. We can do more uh, interactive sessions here. Um, again, interact with our tag I. We kill all, kill a single process or kill all of them. List out our processes, jump into a specific name or the ID that we use and a bunch of different stuff. So there's ways of us managing our interpreter shores uh, effectively, right? So let's go list them out. So let's do a couple of deletions. So we've got four here, let's kill off number four. So let's say we're done with number four, we don't need to do anything else. Maybe we've got what we needed, we've taken our evidence, we've put that into a report, we've gone back to the customer, and now we need to do further activity on these remaining three. So to do that, I will do a sessions, tack K. So as you can see here, and then I'm gonna specify a specific ID. Now I'm not gonna do all of them and kill off and terminate all the sessions. I wanna kill or terminate a single session. So I'm gonna do a tack K. 
and then the number ID four. So on this column here, it's got the ID function. So two, three, four, and that's the one I want to target, which is number four. And then hopefully that will fill off session four. And if I do a quick sessions listing again, then we've got our three remaining. And if we're done with everything and we've completed our reports and everything is handy dandy and customer's happy and you're happy with all the outcomes, well, now it's time to kill off all the sessions and we can just do attack K. And the lucky parameter is if we scroll up, we can do a tag capital K and we can kill off all the, or terminate all those sessions. So if we're happy with that and everything has gone as planned or as, as intended in our post exploitation and privilege escalation and exploitation and payload delivery and everything else has worked fine, well then we're done with all the sessions. We can remove and complete all our sessions. And that brings us to the final piece. All the sessions have now been closed. We can continue on creating a new workspace and continue our pen testing activities and hopefully achieve all our pen testing goals. So it just makes changes easy for us to manage. We can send them to the background, we keep on working, keep sessions open, close sessions if we finish with them, and then just managing everything effectively within our Metasploit framework. So that wraps up this series. I hope you've enjoyed all the content through the Metasploit framework series. And as always, I hope to see you all in an upcoming video. Thank you for viewing and bye for now.